So we have to, we have to respect and show gratitude for that gift of Allah by making, making promises in our hearts with conviction and sincerity that we will never miss a prayer after this day. We will never miss a single prayer after this day. And we will try our utmost best to pray five times a day. You know why? Because the Prophet ﷺ said, I am shy that these people can't pray five times a day. Imagine it, that one day you go to school and it's parents evening and there your father is there and the teacher says, you know your son is very naughty. And you know your son uh, messes about. <coughs> and you know your son is good for nothing. And you know your son, he doesn't study. How will your father feel in front of that teacher? Your father will feel ashamed. Just imagine it. We are all the children of the Prophet wasallam. And he before Allah is saying, I feel ashamed that my children can't even pray five times a day. Tell me people, don't we owe it to the Prophet just to stand up five times a day, the Prophet of Allah, who we expect so much from, but we give nothing back to. We expect everything from him, that on the day of judgment, he will stand for us and save us. In our graves, he will stand for us and save us. Uh, in this world, he will take us through this life with his blessings in the Quran. But what do we give him in return? Shame before Allah? Is this what we give him? Shame before Allah? That's all. All of us make a promise in our hearts, men and women, that after this day, that we will never miss a single prayer, inshallah. For if for no other reason than not to bring shame to the beautiful face of Sayyiduna Muhammad. Who are we to bring shame to Sayyiduna Muhammad? That beautiful face who when the sun saw him became shy, when the moon saw him it became shy, when the people of the world saw him they became shy before the beauty of his face and then me and you become Causes of shame to that beautiful face of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam We have to sacrifice our lives to bring happiness and joy and a smile to the face of Sayyidina Muhammad Not tears to the eyes of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Muslims look at what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sacrificed for me and you not for his children and for, for a kingdom that he left behind. He left behind no dunya. He just left this beautiful religion for me and you so that we can live beautiful lives. So that we can live beautiful lives. We have to become a people who don't bring shame to Muhammad وسلم, but rather bring honor to him, respect to him, bring dignity to his name What does a father say to a child? Son, I want you to make my name bright and light even after I have passed away. Even after I have passed away, I want you to be my legacy. I want you to be the continuation of my name. We are all the legacy of Sayyiduna Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. People make this night, make these moments, moments in which we say, Ya Rasulullah, we'll never bring shame to your name. Ya Rasulullah, we will never bring shame to your name. We will only bring honor, dignity, respect and become ambassadors for your name. Even if it means we have to sacrifice everything that Allah has given.